Right, we're creating the worst fighter possible from the UFC rankings. A few people have done this type of video on YouTube. It's all derived from that meme I'm sure you've seen. So I'm going to try and switch it up a little bit and do from the current rankings. And I'm also going to try and do some weird unique ones I haven't seen just to spice it up a little bit. And in typical shameless casual style, I'm just going to smash for them without too much mucking around. Let's go. Personality. No, see, you're wrong. It's not Ian Gary. He's just trying too hard and getting it all wrong. And no, not is he. He's just a confused egomaniac with main character syndrome. We need to go far beyond all of that to the lowest qualities you can find. Ladies and gentlemen, hardcores and casuals, I present John Jones. I won't get into too many details, but you know the crack. Drug cheat, marital martial artist, and general real life GTA character. But not like Strickland, just all the bad stuff. Next, likability. Now a few months ago, this would have been more difficult. There are a few good names that you could have thrown into the hat. But there is a new all-time goat of dislikability. Welcome, Ian Retardo Gary. On to weight management. Now I know what you're all thinking, old roly-poly Paddy Pimlet. But no, you see Paddy blowing up in between fights is actually a sign of tremendous weight management. Because if I'm not mistaken, he always makes weight. However much time he spends at OB City in between. The worst fighter that you could possibly create would have the weight management of Paolo Costa. Now, Charles Oliveira missed weight a bunch of times, but he was in the wrong weight class. Kamza missed weight by nearly eight pounds, forcing the whole card to get swapped about. But he was stopped from cutting the weight by a doctor. Whereas when Paolo, the mean monster Costa, was facing Marvin Vittori, he didn't even attempt to make 185 and instead sprung it on Marvin fairly last minute. And he was so far off, they had to move it up 20 pounds to the next weight class. That is some serious not giving a shit weight management. And I jizz approve. Right, fan base. Yes, Strickland fans have popped up out of nowhere and are a bit annoying. The Charles Oliveira fanboys, myself included, were a bit much. And the Dagestani fans can be a bit on the toxic side. But really, this has to go to the Connor fanboys. At this stage, if you're still a Connor dick rider, are you even really an MMA fan? On to the next one. The manager, of course, of the worst fighter that we could possibly create would be Layla Machado Gary. Now, you might think that I made that category up just to have a dig at Ian Gary's wife. Listen, that's ridiculous. Okay? Next up, worst wife, Layla Machado Gary. Mike skills. I won't waste your time. It's Sugar Sean O'Valium. With his sleepy, awkward lines, only made worse by the contrast to his loud, shiny exterior, it's an easy choice. Onto Fight IQ. You know, I know, let's say it together, Michael Chandler. Face, Rosos Jr. Ground game, Taito Avassa. Fighting spirit, Modelo. Motivation, probably Paolo Costa. If you want a few of the more typical ones, head movement, Shavkat Rachmanov. Chin, I'm gonna go with Johnny Walker. The dude is fun to watch, but a change of the wind direction has him flipping around the octagon like a jumping beam. Striking, Kron Gracie. Power, the seventh layer of hair himself, Colby Covington. And stamina, this is why he was on the thumbnail, Kamzat Chemaev. And I think that'd do. Anyway, if you like this video, give us a sub, check out this playlist of recent bangers, and I'll see you next time.